Hello everybody, welcome back. It's Jordan here, aka Brixie. Hope you're having a fantastic day. We're gonna be doing a couple different things today. Well, I find myself in West Edmonton Mall, so of course we're gonna be checking in on the uh, Lego Store construction site. And I'm also gonna be uh, checking my P.O. box for some fan mail. So I'm excited to do both of those. I hope you like my mask and the fact that I'm standing in front of a skating rink here in the mall. Makes sense, doesn't it? Uh, yeah, so let's, uh, let's head to the construction site first, and then we'll go to my P.O. box and see if there's any fan mail there, because I think there is. No, 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 no. Thank you, Tim Hortons. I personally think that it's just absolutely insane that it's taken us this long to get a Lego store in West Edmonton Mall. And actually, when you look on the LEGO Group's October calendar, um, near the bottom of the calendar, they actually have the announcement that uh, it says stay tuned for the LEGO store as it's going to be opening in October. So that's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, we're, we're going to be seeing the store open up real quick, and you can actually see the green hoarding just right behind the pirate ship there. I was here quite recently, and we did a little update on it. Looks like they've had a lot more of that white Lego-like paneling on the side of these top bulkhead type things that's going to host the different uh, Lego features. And you can definitely see a lot of those white panels right here. And they still have that uh, scaffolding set up there. And it looks like they've actually built like a platform on top of some on top of the scaffolding or scaffolding. So, wow, we definitely might be getting something, some sort of big feature there. And I'm guessing that's the stability of that big feature. Because for sure, last time we were here, that little platform on top of the scaffolding was not there. So there's going to be something there for sure. And on the side of this cube here, they have it all complete. So all that uh, Lego-like siding is on, both on the exterior and also in the interior as well. It's definitely a lot of drywall, a lot of mud, and a lot of glue. I think right here is an entrance. And I could be wrong, but this looks like another entrance right over here as well. So I don't know how many entrances they plan to have in this gigantic, gigantic Lego store. And when I say big, I mean huge. <laughs> I'm so pumped up. So now that we're done taking a look at the uh, brief construction update uh, for the Lego store, not much other than a lot more of that paneling that's been put onto the cubes. Um, we're gonna head to the P.O. box and see if there's any fan mail there. Hey, look, they've actually filled in that one there. So there's definitely gonna be some big features on top of this. And on the escalator that I'm looking down from right now, you're gonna be able to see them which is pretty cool, because this is like the movie theater right here. And on the other side, there's like these giant lights here, just by the Simon store. And there used to be like a fighter jet and really cool stuff that used to be hung up here. There used to be like this big dragon tongue and this big dragon in the movie theater. And there used to be all sorts of cool stuff here. So I'm so excited to see that the Lego store is probably gonna bring back some big features so they can spice up West Edmonton Mall there again. Actually, it's funny, they're putting the Lego store right here and we all know that Chapters Indigo also sells Lego, so we may as well check it out. Wow, look at all their advent calendars that they have. They have Star Wars, Darth Vader in his ugly Christmas sweater. Then we have Friends, City, Harry Potter. I plan on doing something with advent calendars come the month of December. Looks like we got some Harry Potter stuff on the end cap here for Privet Drive. Also Hedwig, The Rise of Voldemort. Sort of botched that, didn't I? Voldemort. <laughs> That's his name. Some classic stuff. Lego Movie 2 stuff. I was on the lookout here for like retired sets and retired deals more so as well. Uh, you just never know when you're in stores like this what's going to pop up. It looks like we got Fast and the Furious and we also got the uh, Ducati in the Technic lineup here. Some of the new Avengers stuff such as the Helicarrier that I probably won't be getting. Also some of the 3-in-1 stuff down here on the bottom. Large Ninjago section, including the new Destiny's Bounty. Some more uh, Harry Potter stuff here mixed in with the Star Wars merch. Hmm. City. Hidden side. Some more city, including the new deep sea stuff. I still want that boat. I need that boat. Just not right now. Not until we have a city. And uh, Mario. With the cool... Mario display. Pretty neat actually. It's a cool display. I've seen it before but it always impresses me because you don't see things like that at my Lego store at least. 
and then some more city stuff. He should be making a racket over here, isn't he? And Bowser's Castle looks pretty cool. But I'm not going to get any more Mario, although I do want that Bowser. Ooh. All right, we're all done there. Let's uh, head to the P.O. box and see what's going down. So finished up at the mall. We got three pieces of fan mail. Thank you so much. That's awesome. Also, my Canada Post rep uh, let me know that FedEx tried to deliver a parcel to my P.O. box. And unfortunately, FedEx doesn't deliver to P.O. boxes. So it was actually at the FedEx facility about 25 minutes away uh, on hold for me. So I'm excited to find out what's going on with the box that's held here at the FedEx facility so thank you guys so much this you guys are the greatest ever thank you it's incredible thank you oh look at the size of this box oh my gosh thank you so much and where's it coming from it's coming from LIGO brand retail oh <laughs> directly from the LIGO group oh my gosh yes thank you so much so we got quite a bit of fan mail here now. Um, I really want to open it all up, but I don't think I have enough time in this particular video to open all of this here because I, I think all of these are going to have letters. So they're going to get their own fan mail opening. However, this one right here, which I know came from Adam and also Supermom. So thank you so much, Adam and Supermom is going to get opened up because it's from the Lego group. Would I really be able to wait? I don't think so. So let's see what's inside here. And you guys can hear loud noises in the background. That's actually because we're uh, working on the Lego room in the basement right now. So that's actually uh, some of the drywallers down there working hard. Oh my gosh, it's the moment of truth. It's exciting, isn't it? This is exciting noises. It's exciting right here too. That's the Batmobile we're giving away. But what about this? What about this? Oh my gosh. Looks like it's Christmas time. It's Christmas time, oh yeah. Christmas time in September. No way. Yeah, this is so cool. Thank you so much, Adam and Supermom, for hooking up the uh, Creator Expert Gingerbread House. Look at that. Mr. Gingerbread Man has a snow mo or a snowblower. <laughs> That's so cool. And look at the gingerbread house with like the candy canes and the masonry bricks and the chimney and the candy on top of the roof and also the Christmas tree there. Oh, what? Oh, it's got a nice oh, back end too. Like it's open so you can see all the details inside. This is my first Christmas set. So thank you so much, uh, um, Adam and Supermom. Thank you so much for this. I can't wait to build it with you guys during a live stream here on my YouTube channel. And aren't those exciting noises in the background? Super exciting. And as for all the other fan mail, we will open that in the near future as well. So thank you guys so much. I'm absolutely blown away. Oh my gosh. Thank you for the gingerbread house. I cannot wait to build that with you, Adam and Supermom. That's awesome. It's going to be amazing. Uh, so we checked out the uh, Lego store construction site at West Edmonds Mall, or WEM. We went to the P.O. box where we picked up some fan mail. And we got the gingerbread house unboxed there. So that's pretty cool. Remember to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for some more great stuff coming out in the near future. And once again, thank you so much. You guys are the best fans ever. Bye for now. I wanted to give a special shout out to all the people who supported me using Super Chat and Super Stickers during my live streams. Thank you so much. It's highly appreciated. And make sure you stay tuned for more live streams as I'll be building all of my Lego sets using the live stream function here on YouTube. Thanks a lot, stay tuned, and we'll see you again. Bye for now.